It's Head Cracks Hip Hop Spot. Rick's Mind Morning Showtime right now is the bottom of the hour. Here we go. This is popping in the world of hip hop. A lot of people want to know what's going on with 21 Savage. Well, here is the latest, as we know. Um, basically, him applying for his visa not too long ago was actually what put him on the radar with the ICE people. To where they was like, hey, let's look into this. And when they realized, oh, you had a, uh, you know, you have a drug charge for 2014. We're going to look into this a little bit further. And that's what got him on the tail. Which is messed up because the thing is he pled guilty to it and it got expunged last year. But because the way ICE rolls, you know, it's not like local law enforcement. Right. They're like, hey, that whole expungement don't mean nothing over here. And we're going to try to violate you and send you back to London. Uh. Yeah, that goes to this. Because like yesterday we were talking about, hey, he's not really from London. He's from the island of Dominica, which is a, a London province. But his birth certificate has popped up and he's actually from Newham. That's like... <laughs> The king and queen. Something like that. Yeah. And the crazy thing is, like, the signs were all around us. You know what I'm saying? Like, even, like, when you listen to, like, his mom talk, like, you know, she's been doing interviews and stuff like that. Like, yo, like, she sounds like, you know, like a proper, you know, British bloke. But it's not such a bad thing that he's from somewhere else, right? That's extra right. swag. Right. So why like, Rick, didn't like, he like, say anything? Like, Rick, just imagine if a dude came out with, with, with Atlanta swag and a British accent. How yeah, ill would that be? Yeah, it, it, would, it would definitely be something different. I think people would love it. Yeah, like 21 Savage. Why are they crucifying him, though? Because he's from somewhere else. Yeah, I mean... Because he don't say he's from somewhere else. Well, I mean, sometimes you just want to be accepted. You know, want to be like, oh, little British boy, let me give you a wedgie. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know how we right. be mean to foreigners over here in the States? Yeah. You know, especially in Atlanta. You know, in certain hoods. <sighs> you know, you got to lose that British accent real quick. Learn some slang. Mm -hmm. hey, hey, what you saying mm -hmm. now, boy? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Moving on, another hip hop news. Let's talk about Nicki Minaj and Cardi B real quick. Uh, basically, they have a common enemy, and that enemy is Tammy Loren. Uh, you know, basically, she was making light of the 21 Savage situation, and he was like, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten agents coming to deport you. Uh, uh -huh. Basically, uh, Cardi B was like, Don't let me uh, go get my leash. And Nicki oh, Minaj wow. pointed out, like, oh, you always quick to, you know, like, you know, try to, like, you know, jump on the culture and whatnot, you know, but you you're apparently are obsessed with it. It's great to see them on the same team. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Bring somebody else in so they could team up and we can fight against the other people all together. Let's yeah. do it. Let's get one of those dolls, whether yeah. it's Dream China. <laughs> I feel like there's a Puma doll. Yes, yeah, all kinds. Yeah, Cabbage Patch doll. Like, any of those dolls, jump yeah. in. <laughs> <laughs> Little Kim, where you at? I need your input on this, ma. Let's get it popping. Last but not least, Joe Button. He wants smoke, sort of, with uh, Game. Uh, Game mentioned his chicks in Santana. Talk about he hit it first. Apparently, Game has hit a lot of people first. Uh, absolutely. Game is sexy and a very hot commodity in the industry. Okay. Uh, and he's hit a lot of people. Yeah, Unfortunately, like, it is what it is. They said He said he hit Kylie Jenner before all these other people. Probably. Like when she was still a lower mileage Kardashian. Probably. Uh, he also claimed he hit Kim Kardashian yep. when she was a medium mileage Kardashian. Yep. <laughs> claimed to hit Sin Santana. Yep. I'm not sure about that. He may Allegedly. Even hit, he may even hit Caitlyn. You but just you don't know. know. Oh, no. I know. I doubt it. Okay. Well, here's what Joe Button had to say. Uh -oh. Why am I in this? Like, if this were true, why am I hearing about it now? What type of loser and face-ass n*** is you, n***? Let me explain something to people out there. I don't give two f**ks what anybody did before I was involved with them. <laughs> I just don't. And now that I'm here, I address things accordingly. And I don't really see a need to address it accordingly with you because you ain't say it to me, m You said it a song. And you can call oh, wow. me game. <laughs> this is Marketing 101. We've seen this from game for quite some time. His whole career. My stance last week when he was talking about Kim and Kanye and I was like, yo, game don't have to do that. It don't change because it's me and mine. It's how I feel is how I feel. That the rapper that I think you are, you don't have to do this. And he's right. Like, game, you dope enough yeah, to wear, like... That is a great point. Yeah. yeah. And, he, and, and he articulated without bashing. True just, indeed. He just kept it at the issue. Yeah, now nah, he's quite the intellectual. The I mean, and that's how you're supposed to roll, man. Like, you know, you guys are dudes of a certain age. You know, you don't got to, like, you know, shoot up nobody's crib or, you know, like, words. Let's talk it out. Like, why are you doing this? Right. But if it, if it did come to blows, Joe Buttons is such a sadomasochist, he'd probably lick game, hit him 58 times before he threw one punch. Ooh. Joe Buttons is here for it. He's like, this is what I like. Remember that one yeah, season? Yeah, <laughs> he like one of them white dudes. <laughs> yeah, he's like, bring it on, come buddy. Come on, on, buddy. <laughs> come on, pal. Come on, pal. That's all you got. <laughs> like, Rocky, take all of it. 
Rocky took all them hits from Apollo Creed. <laughs> yep. And got, and got mad. Yep. <laughs> and then the music come on. <laughs> 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 man, I'm here for all this, man. That's it for me, man. For this other story, I'm following Twitter, Instagram, man, SoundCloud, H E A D K R A C K. D Stone Praise Break Mix down up next. Rick's Mountain Morning Show. Always representing for the culture.